guys, it's Van Rashid here and welcome to this video. Uh, sorry for not making a video for a while, but this past month uh, I have been doing other things. But I'm uh, trying to get back into it and uh, I've been using System.io. So if you watch my previous videos, you'll know that I'm uh, getting into System.io. It's uh, taken me a while to learn it, but I'm getting through it. And this is, I've created this. It's a sales page to a new product which I've just created. All about getting uh, free traffic. And uh, I think it's pretty good. Uh, it might be different. I'll leave a link down below. Uh, let me know what you think. I might change it. Uh, but I think it's pretty cool. It's not bad. And uh, it's actually not even a proper... It's like an order form. But I've created it and made it into a sales page. Uh, this product is all... Uh, it's going to be a cheap way of getting uh, free traffic. You know, it's going to be a simple way using free tools. Uh, you know, I've got over-the-shoulder tutorials. There'll be about half a dozen uh, videos on there. It's a little uh, mini course. If you're interested in getting more traffic to your website or your sales pages, uh, feel free to check it out. Uh, but that's not the purpose of uh, this video. The purpose of this video is that I'm trying to create a thank you page for this. So here, I mean, this is obviously not going to be a finished uh, product here, but I'm trying to create a thank you page. So once someone purchases it, they, they go to this page next uh, and they click on this and they'll get the product, their video course, uh, what I've just created. But the problem I'm having here is this. I'll just show you. If I want to view this, I click on this eye section there. And it should pop up there what it looks like, but it's not happening. And the reason why it's not happening is this. It says at least one email input is required on this page. And that's something that system I should really work on. Because I've been stuck on this for a while now and I don't know uh, what to do. But I finally figured it out of what to do. So if you get stuck onto that, something like that, uh, this is what you're going to have to do. Obviously, I don't want an email uh, output on this page because it's a thank you page. You know, this is all going to be deleted here, so I'll just uh, delete this now. That's how quickly you delete it, you just delete it, stuff like this. But it's not, a, you know, I'm not showing you how to use this yet, I'm going to make videos later on. But the way to stop that, uh, this part here, at least one email input required, to stop this, what you're going to have to do is create an invisible email uh, input. So the way you're going to do that, is click here where it says section and the section has popped up there and then what you want to do is come over here where it says form input and place that into that section so if I just grab that place it in the section there in the middle that there like that and then click on it and what you want to do where it says input type select email simple as that so emails popped up there now the whole idea of this is we're going to put an email input so we can get pay people to this page and create this page but we don't want there to be a, a, an email input there because we don't want that email addresses anyway because it's a thank you page. So we'll have to get rid of that email there. So where it says email placeholder, I hope you can see it there. So I'm just going to delete that. And as you can see, it's gone over there. And there's a slight border there. You know, you can probably see it. See that? If I move away, there'll be a border there. So we don't want that border there. So we we'll click on that again. Back to this section. Look for where it says border. So rounded corners, uh, no shadow, border style, that's it, border style. See where it says solid? So we don't want people to see that. So I'm going to come over there and click on where it says none. And that border should disappear. So yeah, did you see that? It's kind of disappeared there. So there you go. Now you won't be able to see it. So now if I want to view this, click on this eye. And it's popped up there. Okay, this is in preview mode, so I'll just delete that. Well, that's what it looked like. There'll be a input there's a form there which no one knows about okay they're not even going to see it no one's going to click on there uh, that's simply how it is so this is obviously not the finished product i'm creating it but i just made this video to quickly show you how to create the actual uh, section there put email input there so you can uh, create this page so now i can save this page as well so if i click on save this page is saved okay now obviously some more editing is needed so by the time you watch this video i may have all this set up if you want to see what this looks like You'll have to come over to this uh, sales page here. Links will be down below. And uh, this sales page here. Uh, if you want a free, uh, well, not a free. <coughs> if you want this for really cheap, it's a free traffic course. Basically, it's not, you know, it's how to get free traffic to your websites and your sales pages. Click on this. If you want to purchase this, there'll be a discount code below as well. I'll let you know what the discount code will be. It'll be in the video, uh, the section below. It'll be a couple of dollars off. It's not expensive, but it's a mini course. Check it out, uh, you know, and get this course if you want. 
And I've also got some other free cool stuff there. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you find it helpful. My name is Isfan Rashid and I'll speak to you next time.